the M Shop. I'm Michael Phillips, the Chicago Tribune film critic, and the last man standing after a month of futuristic visions of apocalypse, ruination, global warfare, human devastation, and other cinematic delicacies. This month's TCM Friday Night Spotlight has been devoted to the theme of future shock movies set in the future, some a few years in the future, some eons and eons. We're wrapping up with a film taking place in the year 2024. It was made in 1975, and it's called A Boy and his dog, based on the novella by Harlan Ellison. And unlike the urban futuristic civilizations we've seen in films like Metropolis and Minority Report, A Boy and His Dog is a desert rat of a movie unfolding after a nuclear holocaust has turned Phoenix, Arizona into a desolate landscape. Don Johnson, a very young Don Johnson, plays Vic, an 18-year-old survivor. His companion is a dog who can communicate telepathically with Vic and who's voiced in the movie by the actor Tim McIntyre. In exchange for food, the dog sniffs out the presence of female survivors for Vic's companionship. I should add, probably, that there are more wholesome dystopian movies around than this one. One of these young women leads Vic and the dog to a civilization known as Topeka, a half mile below the Earth's surface. Jason Robards, in white face makeup, is the leader of this bizarre civilization, and his mission, which requires Vic, is to save the community from extinction, from first to last, and the last scene really is outrageous. <laughs> this is one nutty post-apocalyptic movie. The director is surprising. He's L.Q. Jones, better known as a character actor, and along with Don Johnson, the cast includes Suzanne Benton, and Ray Manzarek of The Doors collaborated on the musical score. Here from 1975, a movie whose original poster called it a rather kinky tale of survival, A Boy and His Dog. Mm -hmm. 